And now to some merger news. A drug company and Dow component Merck announcing a major acquisition today of drug maker Cubis Pharmaceuticals. In a down market, the news sent Merck shares up fractionally and Cubis stock soaring 35 percent. Meg Terrell explains why the deal is putting renewed attention on an often ignored part of the drug market. Drug giant Merck is making a big move in an area abandoned by many large drug makers. The company's paying almost $10 billion to acquire Cubist Pharmaceuticals, a maker of antibiotics. It's been a tough area for drug development in recent years, as regulatory hurdles and a low return on investment have driven many companies away. Virtually all big pharma companies essentially eliminated their discovery capabilities, most of their development capabilities, and very few of them even market antibiotics. And as bacteria become resistant to existing drugs, becoming what are known as superbugs, policymakers and companies are responding to a growing public health threat. Every year in this country, about two million people have a form of infection that's resistant to conventional antibiotics. About 23,000 of those people die. With Cubist, Merck gets the billion-dollar-a-year antibiotic Cubicin, as well as a slate of other drugs administered in the hospital setting. Cubist is expected to receive approval of another experimental antibiotic this month, which analysts estimate could draw more than $1.5 billion annually. Merck's move in the space should signal optimism for companies focused on antibiotics, said Robert W. Baird analyst Brian Scorney. So I do think antibiotics are a good place to be invested in right now. The question is, as the threat of superbugs looms, do other large drug makers agree? In San Francisco, for Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.